This demo will take you through a sample job, including a correction cycle, using the Rampage workflow system and Rampage Remote. This is the Rampage client application, which you use to control and monitor all processing through the Rampage workflow. These two items here are the imposition templates for the job. They were built in a third-party imposition package using blank pages and saved out in JDF format. To begin processing, I just need to drag and drop a PDF file into the job stream. I can do this here from the Rampage client, or the PDF can come in through the internet via Rampage Remote. I'll use Rampage Remote to show you how it works. Your customer opens a standard web browser, types in your remote address, and goes through a login. This is the main menu of Rampage Remote, which can be customized to your preferences in minutes with a header, a footer, and this navigation bar. Your customer clicks the Upload button, drags the file or files into the window for submission, and hits the Upload button. The files transmit across the Internet, either into a general directory, or in this case, directly into the job. This particular job was set up for auto-processing. So at this point, everything happens without operator intervention. Right now, behind the scenes, the Rampage workflow is pre-flighting the files, trapping them, and making soft proofs from the same unscreened data used for plating. It then puts the proofs online and sends out a notification that the job is ready for review. To inspect the proofs, the customer simply clicks on the proof button. Notice that Rampage automatically puts the pages into reader spreads, allowing reviewers to check pagination. By double-clicking on the thumbnail, the customer can take a closer look at the page. This zoom tool delivers pixels on demand. Note the crispness of the text, and with the densitometer, the customer can look at the ink values. To see color breaks or to check overprints, Remote has this inks function. If using Remote for color approval, you apply ICC profiles to a calibrated monitor, a hard copy proofing system, or both. To communicate changes, the reviewer uses one of the three annotation tools. For example, if they want to hit this object with a varnish, they just type in the request. Once the proof is approved or rejected, the annotations are locked and include the date, time, and author of the annotation. To preempt disputes and allow for accurate communication, this History tab displays a log of all transactions related to the page. It is important to point out that up to this point there has been no operator intervention in Prepress. Everything was set up for auto-processing and tied into Rampage Remote. If this page is approved, the Rampage workflow can take this job as far downstream as you want, but to show you a correction cycle, we will reject it. Now let's move back into the Rampage workflow. The system flagged the rejected page with a red X and put the flat containing that page on hold as indicated by the red imposition icon. I can see the actual change request from within the workflow, and I'll even be able to add the varnish from within the Rampage Trap Editor. I use this extra inks function to add bump plates as well as spot or overall varnishes. Note too that I can shrink or grow the varnish by a specified amount. While I am in the Trapping Editor, I want to point out Rampage's ability to deal with transparent effects including these drop shadows. By zooming into this area, for example, you can see that the Rampage PDF Trap Engine accurately processed these transparent elements and was even able to adjust color values throughout this particular trap. I save my changes, requeue the page, and let Rampage strip it back into place automatically. 
I do not have to go back to my stripping application or touch the other pages in the job. Moving on, I'll look at a soft proof of the imposed flat. To verify the varnish, I can either use my densitometer or turn the other separations off. Before going further, I'll overlay the flat B onto the soft proof to check for backup. If OK, I can release for plate or proof. However, if I see a stripping issue, I have two options. For minor adjustments, I can use the page map utility to reslot pages. For a major change, let's say that the varnish plate bumped the job to a different press. I would just queue up another imposition template in JDF format. The component pages are already processed and approved. They just need to restrip. After that happens, Rampage will calculate the ink zone presets and pass them through the network to a controller. In conclusion, the Rampage workflow and Rampage Remote combine to automate prepress production. At the same time, the system provides the flexibility you need to deal efficiently with last-minute changes, human error, and other unforeseen events. The perfect balance of automation and control.